Breaking news into HQ. Connor Bedard, the top pick of the 2023 NHL draft by the Chicago Blackhawks. He won every individual honor you can think of this past offseason. 71 goals, the most the WHL has seen in 24 years. And how about 143 points this past season? That league hasn't had that type of number in 27 years. He is a generational talent, and he's headed to the Chicago Blackhawks. Let's bring in HQ draft analyst Kayla Anderson. And Kayla, way back in 2007, it was Patrick Kane, the last number one overall pick by the Blackhawks. And he took them to the highest of heights. This is an organization that's been down in recent years. How much did they need this player at this time? Man, they needed him and they got him at the right moment, right? Because all the hype leading up to this wasn't really hype because we really know the player Connor Bedard is expected to be, like you said, the first number one pick for the Chicago Blackhawks since Patrick Kane. And remember, Patrick Kane came in as a rookie and he produced right. year one, even winning that uh, rookie of the year campaign. So I think it's really important that they were able to get that number one spot as bad as they have been because now they can start to rebuild this franchise, which, like you mentioned, hasn't been really uh, going in the right direction for a while. But this is a generational talent. I mean, I know a lot of the times that gets overused, but just like a Victor Wimbenyama yep. in the NBA, like he's ex really expected to be that guy uh, plug and play from day one. I think you can stick for him to score a lot. Um, I think now with Taylor Hall, the addition coming over from the Boston Bruins will be a good addition to have that veteran leadership if they pair up on the same line. And look, this is a guy who is a student of the game who's only going to continue to want to get better. He knows the expectations that lie upon him. He's known that for a long time now. And I think he's the perfect guy for the Chicago Blackhawks. You know what? Uh, you're in Nashville, so you've kind of been around the draft in days leading up to the NHL draft. But this is a player who's had the spotlight on him for some time now. How would you say he's handled that spotlight in Nashville leading up to being picked one overall? Let's talk about a mature kid, right? And hockey guys are a little bit different. I've grown up around the game. My brother played. Uh, they're very, very focused. It's hard to get them out of their element. And because he's been in the spotlight, really, for so many years, he's been a phenom since he was, mm -hmm. you know, 15 years old in terms of junior hockey. And so I think he knows how to handle it. He comes from a great family. I don't know if you know this, but his dad was a logger in Vancouver. So he'd wake up every morning at 3 and 4 a.m. And Connor Bedard, would get up with his dad sometimes and say, this is how you go to work. Yep. And I think that is such a great foundation to have as a family to know, like, this is what work ethic is. And I think this guy is ready for the spotlight. He has a little, a little bit of personality that you can pull out of him once in a while. I'm kind of sharing some things that he loves Sidney Crosby. He grew up a big Crosby fan. He's studied Austin Matthews shots since he was a little kid. So uh, he is a perfect guy to be in the spotlight with all the pressure on him. Yeah, nothing wrong with a little work ethic. That, that dad of his is a man's man right there. Uh, when you talk about expectations, you just touched on Patrick Kane played in the NHL as a rookie. These players that are picked right at the top of the draft, they come into the league. They don't play in the AHL. They don't go back to juniors. What are the realistic expectations for this young player in year one in the league? Yeah, and I think that's a fair question because just imagine the amount of pressure, you know, that the Chicago Blackhawks fan base, and, and not in a bad way, but they expect this kid to come out, not only play game one, which, by the way, is against Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins, <laughs> um, but they expect for him to, you know, score goals. And I think that they're going to get that. Look, it's going to be two or three years until we really see the Blackhawks probably back into what they were when they had Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves in, in the big highlight of their, you know, franchise. But I think that they also are going to compare him a little bit to Patrick Kane's rookie season. And he, again, won the rookie of the year that season. So you've got to think fans are also going to expect him to maybe even compete at that level. Um, I don't think he's going to disappoint personally, but I think just be patient. If you're a Chicago Blackhawks fan, I think that's the big word, right? Patience, because he is the foundation, but you still have to put some other building blocks in place. No question about it. High expectations. The numbers will give him some time for a team that's in transition. She's Kayla Anderson.
HQ NHL draft analyst in Nashville. Kayla, we appreciate the insight. Thank you so much. And again, Connor Bedard picked one overall by the Chicago Blackhawks. First top overall choice for the Hawks since Patrick Kane in 2007. Yeah, he took home pretty much every individual honor you can dream of in juniors. This is a prolific player that is a generational talent that the Blackhawks are expecting to take them back to the highest of highs being Stanley Cup championships.